Hell and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. First things first, financial institutions. A gradual bank run so persists throughout the United States the $12.5 billion drop in bank deposits in the US was the largest annual decline since the Great Depression. This past week, I earned 0.1% from my US bank, although standard savings and money market accounts paid 4%. Yes, I withdrew the bulk of my funds and stashed them away. Everyone should leave the banks immediately. You could invest in gold and silver instead of cryptocurrency if you don't like it. Cryptocurrencies like XRP, which are driven by actual practical applications, are the ones to invest in if you're a crypto fan. If a bank employee assures you everything is great, they are lying. The decline in deposits at commercial banks totals $1 trillion. It's hard to fathom, but since March, that's 36 days. If you worked for a salary of $1,000 per hour, it would take you 114,155 years to accumulate that sum. Because it helps to put things in context. I tell everyone I meet that they should avoid financial institutions until it is too late. You should avoid being stuck inside the bank. If the bank should fail. Everyone always says that the government will repair the banking system and the ECDIC will get its money back. The FDIC is not concerned about you, they are discussing Baylands. I still believe everything is planned since they keep bringing it up in conversation. The simultaneous failure of a large number of banks sets the stage for a dire situation in the future. That's a disastrous scenario, for sure. I think that's when XRP will be introduced, thus, people everywhere should start bank runs, we should let the banking sector collapse, and then, and only then, can we bring on Waves XRP liquidity to save the day? Ripple and XRP are ready for adoption in this country now. And we must immediately address the banking system. Instead, they are on an anti-crypto agenda and want to crush the entire crypto space, which is driving innovation out of the nation. However, this is due to the fact that our president does not prioritize us. While serving as vice president, Biden oversaw three of the four largest bank failures in American history. The reason is that all of his executive orders have the same purpose, resetting the world to the new world order. We're currently witnessing the consolidation of financial institutions. And whomever can't notice it will be caught in it. Those who have amassed vast fortunes in fiat currency stand to lose everything unless they diversify their holdings. That's why I mentioned how, throughout your ownership of XRP, you've been exposed to talk of the greatest wealth transfer in human history. And that will occur when the existing system fails and a new monetary order is established. The money being transferred will be unprecedented. And the good news is that you, as an XRP holder, will come out on top in the end. Together, AOC and Gates work to make it illegal for politicians to trade stocks. I thought it was fantastic that AOC collaborated with her opponent on a bill to prevent members of Congress from engaging in stock trading. This is something that should have been completed years ago. When these politicians finally make it to Washington, they discover they have ties to major financial institutions. If they are caught engaging in insider trading, they will stop caring about me and will only be concerned with further enriching themselves while the country continues to disintegrate. The state of our nation's infrastructure is dismal. It must be fixed immediately. Nothing that happens will affect them. They're just interested in themselves, thus they have no business trading stocks. It sickens me that so many people have to go without food or pay their bills because of this. I'm going to come out and say it now. Charles, King of England, is a lowlife slime. I'm going to pray for the people of the United Kingdom, since he's a World Economic Forum hack who only cares about the Great Reset. CEO expresses his appreciation for the XRP community. I agree with what Brad has said. In a tweet, the CEO of Ripple expressed his delight in meeting so many members of the XRP community at XRP Las Vegas 2023. Members of the community. Since we all have the same goal in mind, he admits that the XRP community has a strong relationship. But where has that common goal gotten you, TexRP? That's the same dream we all had. Whether we called it the 589 dream, the 10k dream, or the buyback dream. Nothing could care less. Because of it, you are now in this position. Imagine that you've made a wise investment and are now wealthy and free to pursue whatever interests you. As much as I can, I'll work on getting you there. 
I hope to keep your spirits up and your grip firm. I hope to travel there beside you. Together, we can achieve financial success. The Godfather's characters are nothing compared to the Ripple Mafia. Now, this is fantastic, and I just had to tell you about it. Today, we'll discuss the many ways in which Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, and Peter Thiel, as well as the International Monetary Fund, Google, and the US Federal Reserve, are all connected to Ripple. With approximately 300 workers and branches in the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Singapore, India, Luxembourg, Japan, and Dubai, the company's primary vision is to enable the globe to move money as quickly as information. X Current X Bio X Rapid, two of Ripple's products, are gaining popularity and are being used by well-known companies like Caminos. Executive Chairman of Ripple Chris Larson thinks that freeing up that capital is one way XRP could help prevent the next financial disaster. That's fantastic, I have to say. However, they also discuss Ripple's background. Along with Elon Musk and the PayPal gang. But that's the beauty of this digital currency, really. There's a lot of depth to it as well. You can see how everything is connected to the major players, even if it isn't rippling directly, there is a companion Ripple out there that is always expanding. The president of Ripple has provided some explanation on private ledgers and the decision by CBD to stop using XRP. Since its introduction, tokenization has played a significant role on the XRP ledger, with over 5,400 tokens having been produced. There will be no more closed ecosystems, instead, CBDCs will exist on new private ledgers that operate in parallel with the XRP ledger and use XRP as a bridge to interoperate with other currencies. The financial impact of tokenization is expected to be enormous, well into the trillions of dollars. No other XRP will be used on that private ledger. I felt it necessary to address this again, as it has been suggested that Coinbase would soon hire a member of the Ripple board. They claim that this means Coinbase will evolve. Ashish Birla, a member of Ripple's board of directors, addressed the company's response to Coinbase's recent moves. Recently, he has claimed that Coinbase is evolving from a cryptocurrency trading platform to a cryptocurrency-enabled financial institution. Birla stated that Coinbase has revised its goal to create a crypto economy that is more equitable, efficient, accessible, and transparent in its treatment of financial data pertaining to digital assets. Coinbase, according to its blog and other public statements, is committed to working with strict regulators in all relevant US and non-US jurisdictions to modernize the financial system. I believe there is more cooperation between Coinbase and Ripple than meets the eye. I believe this has been going on for much longer than we realize, and it isn't only related to the SEC case, it appears that Coinbase has ambitions beyond that of a simple exchange. Please listen to what Gary has to say regarding the importance of government oversight of cryptocurrency exchanges. To introduce more investor protection to cryptocurrency exchanges, I believe it would be beneficial to cooperate with Congress, and I believe only Congress could really solve it. And I think if that were the case, since there is currently no regulatory framework in place at the SEC or our sister agency, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, that could instill greater confidence in the exchanges and trading of these crypto assets, and hence no protection against fraud or manipulation or theft. I do. Even though there is now no framework in place for crypto, he is nonetheless enforcing what I consider to be bogus legislation based on the Howey test. If you twisted the wording exactly so, right, that's how we could call anything a security, or you know, and I think what's going on is the fact that the anti-crypto army in Washington is pulling Gary's strings. Furthermore, I believe the president is involved as well. They're the ones who have given him permission to carry out his current activities. But he's aware of his own lack of power. The judge ordered the SEC to answer to Coinbase within 10 days. The court probably made that decision because it is common knowledge that the SEC prefers to ignore or otherwise drag out any and all proceedings. We expect this situation with Coinbase to be resolved considerably more quickly than it now appears. About the SEC. In case you didn't know, the NSA and the Department of Defense each have representatives on the Ripple's team. Golf. However, there's something more I'd want to highlight. If you check over the roster of all 235 employees, you'll see that JP Morgan is there. What I think is going on at JP Morgan is this. 
so that they could come up with an alternative. I believe JP Morgan initiated this case by having the SEC slow down Ripple. In short, they failed. Instead of trying to compete with them, they decided to become one of them. Now, I believe JP Morgan and Ripple are cooperating more closely, with JP Morgan wanting to maintain its prominence. The automotive industry also has the Ripple and Mobi consortium. Members of the Mobi community include some of the world's top automakers as well as startups, and GOES, transportation agencies, insurance companies, toll road operators, smart city pioneers, and software firms. In the past, we've heard a lot about the Internet of Things and how in the future, cars would make payments to one another. And then there are smart cities, where the blockchain makes it possible for anyone with an internet connection to view the transaction log while limiting participation to a small group of trusted members who can contribute to the consensus mechanisms. The last thing we need is a smart city, which is essentially just a fortified metropolis. And you are a terrible performer. I really, really, really hope they don't take off. However, it demonstrates the potential applications of Ripple's technology inside a smart city. I'd like to shed some light on your investment. In light of the expected proliferation of financial transactions enabled by DLT and not just monetary ones, the White House has announced plans to develop global standards for distributed ledger technology. Now, as I've indicated in earlier films, I believe our government is quietly working to advance infrastructure related to innovation, particularly digital identification systems. I believe that the current administration is also laying the groundwork for a social credit rating system. Take a look at the situation in Ukraine. We're helping to finance digital ID development in that region. Over there, we have some tests running. Why? Simply put, they will eventually bring that technology back home with them. However, many people worry that the United States may eventually fall behind. In my opinion, we are lagging behind but not being left behind. I still don't think Bitcoin is part of the future, and I think any headlines you read about the White House and cryptocurrency will draw even more attention to Bitcoin. These governments see it as a danger, so I don't see it being linked to anything. Ripple can be used in conjunction with any other effect. It poses no danger to the infrastructure. It's effective, and it's becoming better. Contrarily, Bitcoin deviates from the norm. I'm going to give you my opinion on the matter, so let me know what you think. But I'm going to end this video here. I appreciate everyone who has tuned in. Thanks to everyone who has seen my videos. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.